Mr. Kwebu, so I think there's unanimity that, um, I mean, at least around this table, including even uh, Ketichu, who himself is a, is, a, is a convener of the group, that what Oliver said was, was just crossing the line there. And so the law has kicked in. Um, he was arrested. He has been detained. He's been charged. He's now going to spend two weeks behind bars, and he's facing treason. Um, that, is, that is how the law should deal with people who cross the line. What's your, argument, what's, what's your response to that? Evans, not at all. You see, my co-panelists, I can forgive them because they are lay people, OK? But I would advise strongly that next time, don't let them go in. in. Manasseh is my good friend, but on this occasion, he has also definitely crossed the line. When a man is facing the law court, you don't go in and do this. No, 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 no. Manasseh, please, 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 please. Okay, give him his day in court. Evans, you see, at a point, I wanted to step in. But, you know, as a, you know, but definitely, next time, don't let it happen. Don't prejudice his case. When a man is before the law court, let's not get in there. He is innocent until proven guilty. Innocent until proven guilty. Let's give him his day in court. You are lay, but please let me tell you the law because you are definitely making pronouncements how you feel and think. No, it's up to the security apparatus to increase surveillance and do the other things they do to monitor. You do surveillance and the other things, and they know what to do. If you see a dog and start calling it a wolf, tomorrow nobody will take you serious. Okay, so please, let's not go into the facts of the case anymore and how we feel and the rest. Yes, you see, we are playing to the gallery just because we are sensitive about coup. We think, oh, by saying, hey, I condemn coup, I condemn coup. By doing that, you are prejudicing his case. The case is before the law courts. Let the uh, judges look at it and decide. That is our law. That is rule of law. Give him his day in court. Now, but, but he has a day in court. I mean, his day in court has come. I mean, it's that, regardless of what we say, that case will continue nonetheless. And I don't think there's a suggestion that because of what we say, he might lose the case or not. No, you are keeping establishments against him. No, let's not do that. This is also very, very serious. Let's not do Martin, that. Martin, I agree with you. Martin, I completely agree with you. And it was why I said that I really was struggling at the yeah. beginning mm. for a, li a case that is live, you know, to really yeah. be making pronouncements. It's the same thing about Bobier as well, because yeah. the case is not decided, the case yeah. is in court. So I think it's really important. I, I think the mm. point you make, it's a really important case that we need to make. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Doc. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, I was very happy. When Dr. Shibe uh, said he was struggling to, that was a good thing. Yes, that's good. So it's fine. We are all we are building the democracy together. So Evans, I thought that Manasseh, you'll be more interested in the way the state has abused this uh, gentleman. First of all, he didn't get access to his lawyers more than 24 hours on. That is what we complain about. You take the man into custody, someone who didn't even have a knife and 20, 26 hours on before lawyers get to see him. Okay, the chair has told us. Number two, they detained him beyond 48 hours. You remember, look, Saturday morning, some of us even took to social media and granted into where we reminded the police that, please, the Supreme Court says 48 hours is 48 hours. So if you don't intend to grant him bail, activate the processes so that you could go to court either Saturday evening or Sunday, all of this fell on deaf ears. So the police intentionally breached his uh, constitutional right. That's in, under Article 14, Clause 3. That is what we should be worried about. Because as we continue to condemn, we are strengthening the hands of the oppressor. As you condemn, you strengthen the hands of the oppressor. The police are oppressing us. We will not take this oppression from them. We all live under this single constitution. They must play by the rules. And you see the third mockery they've made of the Constitution. Today, they chose to take him to a district court that cannot grant him bail. So have they taken him to court? If you take a man to a court where he cannot apply for bail, have you taken him to court? I'll leave uh, viewers to judge that. So please, the emphasis should be the way the police are taking us for granted. 
the way the police have abused us and are abusing the constitution and yet expect that we'll cooperate with police. It doesn't happen that way. It doesn't happen. The police must be told that the country doesn't belong to them alone. The fact that they are holding guns doesn't mean that they can ride rough shot over us. No. They are there to serve us. They should stop their lawlessness. Because if the police doesn't obey the law, then citizens too will not. And if they think they can arrest citizens, then very soon their cells will be full. There will be no space. I mean, come on. What? Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on there.